Bet Online is the world's most trusted betting platform and your number one source for everything football. Bet Online has every stat, every matchup, and even live odds and spreads to bet on during the games. You think you know your stuff? We'll get in on our $200,000 mega contest and pick five games against the spread every week for your chance at a weekly prizes at a share of 200 k $200,000. It's ridiculous. When the game's over, head on over to our online casino and get in a game of blackjack or poker or unwind with one of our over 150 slot games. Head to the website today to get in the action. Bet online. The game starts here. I wasn't in the company when this happened, but what, how did Billy Kurrigan end up in Impact? And was he running it or was he, what was his, he, what was, yeah, he had honest, this weird, I, I, yeah. Were you there? Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead no. Man. Okay. No, sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I, I don't know how he got, but I mean, you know, he's doing NWA and that yeah. now, I mean, he, he, clear, he clearly loves wrestling. But but yeah, I don't I I don't I don't I honestly don't know how he ended up in the mix there. That was an interesting mix, right? Because you had Dixie still there, right? And you had Anthem there, and you had Billy Corgan there. And... I, bro, so I'm, what did I'm so asked... what did what did Dixie end up doing? She ended up selling the company to Anthem. Is that what happened? I, if I recall correctly, yeah. and Joe can fact check this, but it, I believe it ended up going to uh, trial. Like it went to a court. Right, and there basically there was a ruling that that I think Anthem Security was the strongest security, and they ended up getting the company, but I think they had to to pay, you know, like 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 other people or whatever. I, oh, Airlux was in the mix too. The Harris Boys, there was Airlux, there was Billy oh, yeah. Corgan, yeah. there was Anthem, there was all that stuff. So. Wasn't Toby Keith interested at the time? Also, that was almost a possibility. But that might have been prior. Yeah, I think that, yeah. That, that, was, that was prior to that. That's when I think Toby and, and Jeff were looking at, at acquiring TNA, right? Because I think, I, think, I think Jeff so, was, you know, yeah. looked at it and said, like, this thing needs to be taken in a whole different direction. Obviously, Kobe, uh, Toby was Toby, so he'd have the ability to help maneuver things. I, I am completely outside the box on, my, on this take. I don't want to get your opinion of this, right? So I think there was a, a, an issue. I think Billy Corgan had a legal issue with, with Dixie. Yeah. So I she wasn't spoke- honest about something like everybody's like, everybody was like, you know, they, they, this was my take. Okay. And I, I don't know if you, you guys agree with it. Cause I, I, I know Vince does not agree with me. These are like, Jeff doesn't agree with me either. I think Dixie was way smarter than, than, than people gave her credit for. Okay. And this is why bro. She, I think she realized very early that she was being worked. And I think she just figured, okay, but all these people, I'm just going to get them back. And I, th- I think, I think that, like, I think that's the way she operated because everybody's like, oh, oh she's to say, I, I think she kind of saw very, very soon, very early, that people were trying to work her, and she's like, well, I just, why, why do I have to be honest with these people? They're, they're just, okay, just trying to before you me. answer that, Scott, I'm going to say this. Go, go ahead, because that, that was now, my take. I'm on the, yeah, I'm that's, on the, been, that's, I'm been, that's been Disco's narrative, and you knew her better than us. Uh-huh. But from my dealings with her, mine. I'm just talking about mine. I felt she was clueless and didn't know what she was doing. But what do you think? Uh, I don't think Dixie was a unintelligent person. I don't think she is. And I, I think Dixie's one of her gifts is she is she can be a very engaging, very likable. That person. is like true. If you if you, wa- if, if you watched her like like some of the like the Viacom people and other people that we were doing business with, like she, you know, she was she was in marketing and she was you could see when she would jump in and be doing that stuff. I, I think like like this is a real star. Like I watched her wow the spike executives and she had them all eating out of the palm of her hands. And she was good with fans. She was, you know, like I watched the talent, like, you know, I mean, the, the talent I agree would, would with work. all that part. She had that Southern <laughs> charm that she knew how to turn yeah. it on. Okay. Let me, let me, let me, but I just felt to the business. She was super clueless. Let me tell you exactly why that that's a skill. Okay. She of course was it's a, a Southern, skill. She was a Southern sorority girl. Right, bro. Southern sorority girls could work a room. They right. could work the wow. guy. They could work like a, that's right. what I'm saying. I, and I she was that, pretty. She was attractive, right? right? And I just think I think a lot of people just had this because it's the wrestling world and like, oh, she's just a mark and something. They had they were so negative of their stereotype of her that I think they did not see that she was actually a lot brighter than people gave her credit for because she was just getting worked all the time. That's well, well, I'll, 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 I'll go, go ahead, go ahead, Scott. Sorry, I was gonna I was gonna say I, I'll say this. I think that there was especially there at the time. 
uh, she was fighting an uphill battle just being a woman. Right. In, that, in, in some I mean, of those that, that day and age, 100 percent. Right. Yeah. You know, there, it was I mean, you know, it was a I, I remember, you know, pretty intelligent people, I'd say, having a conversation of utter disgust that she didn't take, you know, Serge's last name. Like, this is an actual conversation among, you know, business people. <laughs> and I'm like, this, 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 isn't, this isn't a conversation that we have with any, you know, at the Demore group or with any, you know, of our affiliates or, or people we do business. Like, this is not a conversation we have, but it was literally like, and it was like, it was like, how does this even happen? And like, what, why would Serge agree? And, you know, what would compare? It was just like, it was like, it, I mean, th there was, there was some real culture shock for me going from, you know, being, being, you know, in Canada, I always joke I'm a Southerner because Windsor is the, is the most Southern point of Canada, but obviously very Northern going down there. Like there were, there was, some, there was some culture shock. Like, you know, I saw it when I was in Atlanta, you know, for the WCW stuff and being in Nashville is like, there's just a, there's a whole different culture here. I, I don't think Dixie was, I think people sometimes don't give her enough credit and, and, and want to dismiss her as being, as being unintelligent or whatever. I don't think she's that. And and I, I don't I don't think she's Wiley Coyote super genius. Like I said, I think she has a remarkable skill set that I think helped the company a lot. But I but I also think I saw Dixie, you know, have to dig in. I, I saw a real want from her. I think sometimes, if anything, and I have a good relationship with Dixie, but I, I think she really felt because of how much misogyny and stuff she dealt with and, and how much daddy's girl and everything else and and that. I think sometimes she was looking it through a lens of trying to prove how tough she was when I, when I don't think that was necessarily her strong point, her, you know, she was sharp. She was a marketer. Um, I think that there, some of the stuff she, she dived into wasn't really in her strong areas. So I, Glenn, I'm, I'm not going to say she's, you know, she was working everybody, but I can say like, she's, she can work a room as, as Conan right. said, she could, she can work a room. She can charm people. And, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, TNA wrestling, you know, doesn't, isn't here today without Dixie Carter, because for all the, you know, the stuff that happened over the years there, it just doesn't get to that point. You guys know that that thing probably doesn't make out of what was it 2003 or whatever it was doesn't yeah. get out of without Dixie stepping in. They don't get the spike deal, like all that stuff. Right. Yeah, well, work in a room is still work. So one hundred. It's the way you can look at it, you know, right? So, yeah. three, 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 three carnies, three carnies on a Zoom call doing a podcast, you know, going to start throwing shade at somebody or <laughs> doing a little wizard. Right. Oh, no, my, 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 my whole, my whole thing was is charming. Knew how to work the room with the southern accent and all that, and that obviously is a skill. And the kudos of her for her to that. But when it came to wrestling, to me, she was clueless, and that and I will stick by that. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited, uncensored content. And being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for riding with us. I know you got a lot of other uh, podcast choices, be it wrestling or other ones. And thank you for picking us. Boom.